you doing, John? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Thanks a lot. Good. Now, I understand that you came here with a uh, Ajax tutorial that you've prepared. Yes, I have. Prepared it for uh, web developers, web programmers who want to get uh, started with Ajax. Mm -hmm. And this is the first steps into learning just the uh, okay. beginning layer. Well, I mean, I don't know much about Ajax. It's a huge buzzword on the internet right now. You see it right and left. You see pages using it. You know it when you see it. At least I do. Right. But I, I don't know what's going on behind what I see. Right, and a lot of people are in the same boat you are because they have a lot of misinterpretations of what Ajax is. You know, they believe it's a programming language, they believe it's a technology, but it's not. All it is mm -hmm. is just innovation on top of what already existed. And now that people have realized that they can do certain things with JavaScript, it's growing and growing and growing and just the Ajax world is just getting bigger. Okay, now what is Ajax? Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Asynchronous. Asynchronous. Asynchronous is basically a seamless, to a very rough down version. Mm -hmm. It's a very seamless. It's a seamless line to the server, so that you don't have any interruptions on your web page. And is that what allows us to have that almost real time feel on the page? Yes. Like, it, it seems like there's a program running right and, there. And there really is. It's basically an engine running inside of your page mm -hmm. that is going back and forth between the web server. Okay, and with the XML? XML is a, a big, big punch in this. Mm -hmm. That's why they added it into Ajax, is what it allows you to do is pull data from XML and just pop it in on the screen. And since XML is so light, not mm -hmm. a lot of overhead compared to uh, connecting to a database and retrieving the data, uh -huh. it's a lot faster. And that's the biggest thing that lets us, you know, instead of having to go back to the server and refresh a page every time we want to yeah, see new information. That's the old way that we still we'd have to go. We'd have to post it to the web server, mm -hmm. PHP or .NET or whatever, would have right. to go through the steps of getting the data or, or manipulating whatever. And it would have to refresh the entire refresh page. have to refresh the entire page. Whereas with, or reload the entire page, really. Right. And with Ajax, we're just refreshing the page, just that ref one section. Yeah it's, not, yeah, it's not even really refreshing. It's like it's just getting the data. That's all it's doing. And it gives you that true, like, PC mm -hmm. or on desktop application feel. Okay. And now you're pulling it to the web development. All right, so I understand that you brought a demo with you? Yes, I have. It's a very skinned down version of uh, just using some Ajax and mm -hmm. uh, use a little bit of XML. And I guess we'll go ahead and get started. All right, sounds good. All right, we're going to start off by uh, declaring an HTTP request variable, and we're going to set it to false. Okay. And then we're going to have a function call called request, where it requests the object and, and gets its initiation. Next, we actually have to make sure that it's set to false, because if it's not, then we're going to end up getting true when the object really hasn't been created yet. Okay. So it's very important. Now, this is the part where we check our browser, i.e. and Mozilla and Opera. Uh, I use the main outcast. Yeah, they handle the things the differently. They handle things a little differently because it uses ActiveX. Right. So the object is now created. We have a few try and catches in the uh, ActiveX to make sure the different versions of IE. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to see if it has been initiated. If it has not been initiated, we're going to send an alerter and say, you know, there was a There's problem. There's a problem. So now we're going to go into the on ready state change. Uh, ready state being our beginning point for our actual Ajax yep, connection. Yep, once it's connection, it's done. It's what do we do now? Right. You're going to call this function. It's going to be called ready state or whatever you want to call your function. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go through the process of what it has to do first. Okay. Next, we're going to uh, use our dot .open. Our dot .open is going to have our types like get. You can set it to post if you want. Mm -hmm. Then we go into our send. I set it as null. That's it in terms of what do we do now. All right. Next, we have our uh, ready state function call. This is where it does on ready state. This is what's going to happen. Okay. This, uh, the f it has four different, actually has five different stages, uh, zero through four. Mm -hmm. Zero through three really are insignificant. You're most concerned with number four, but for this example, I went ahead and created some alerters to let us know the status, just so you understand what's actually happening. Okay. Now we are uh, at four, meaning that everything is ready to go. Right. It's all set. Then we have to check the HTTP uh, status on the Apache side. Mm -hmm. Status is uh, the status code for that is 200. There are many others in case you want to do something different. Yeah, dependent upon what you're going to use this. Right, for. but for the most part, most of the time you're going to use 200. 200. And this, since today we're going to go into XML, which is you know the the big name there. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to go ahead and create a variable for an XML document, mm -hmm. which is our sample XML. We'll get into that, and we're going to create an object for that. Next, we're going to go into our root node. 
and our root node is going to find the root node inside of our XML. Okay. All right, so we've got that set. We've got it searching for root. We're going to get the first item, and then we're going to print it. Right. Very simple, very clean, very easy. And if there's a problem there, it's going to send back an error. So this, right. there's a lot of error checking. Okay. So we have that created. We're going to go into some of the HTML, and we're going to on-click, do that request, that JavaScript request call, mm -hmm. pass it the uh, URL or the file name of the XML file, and then it's going to do its work. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pull up our sample XML. Very only, simple. Very, very simple. It's only four lines of code. Yeah. And we just cr declared it as XML. We created one node called root, and it will get the insides of that node. So we have our page up here. It's got our link. We're going to go ahead and take a click at it. Here's our, our alerts. First alerter. This is the uh, actual uh, initialization of ready state. Okay. Now we've got it loaded. We've got interactive. interactive. And it's ready to go. Now it's when, pulled that node out, which that, just said no. Yeah, it's pulled, it checked the node, pulled the data out of it, and that's the uh, information that was left in there. Okay. And it's, it's, it's a very light version. Of course, But the, you can just do with a little more research and no, you have it, an idea of what you're doing. The sky's the limit with this. This is just right. to get you started because you can do some incredible things with Ajax. Oh, yeah, I've seen and, some beautiful sites yeah, and with we're, some disgusting we're, interactivity. Within the next few years, we're going to see it grow even more. So that's the basic rundown of... What Ajax is, good tutorial just to start off with. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was very informative. Thank you no, so much. No problem. Just make and sure you check out the show notes. Yeah, because you'll have your the, script and everything. Everything, all the code's going to be on there, and then we go from there. All right, well, thanks a lot.